Okay, we're here today at RealAgriculture.com at Crop Week in Saskatoon. We're here with Tiffany Dancho from Raven Industries. Uh, welcome today, Tiffany. Okay, we're going to talk about a new product that you have at Raven. Uh, can you explain a little bit about it? Uh, it's actually, what it's called is uh, the Slingshot, and it's not more as a product as a, a whole different product line for Raven. Uh, what it's providing is um, a wireless-based, um, cell-based RTK solution. Um, with that, it allows us to get baselines of up to 80 kilometers, um, and it's not line of sight. So um, basically, wherever you can get cell service, you will be able to get an RTK correction. Because before, wasn't it that you had to have RTK towers kind of all over the place and yeah. scattered throughout the country? So yeah. that's totally changed now. Yeah, it, it has changed. What happens is you still need the towers, you still need the base stations, but the dealer can have the base station set up in their office. All they need is to have a, they have an antenna stick up on, on their roof, and the base station just needs to be hooked up to the internet and power. Um, the, the consumer, the, the farmer, what he'll have in his cab is uh, a, a modem like this. It's called okay. a blue tree modem. Um, and he'll just have two antennas. Basically, that'll just pick up your uh, your cell service, and it'll feed it into uh, our receiver. It's called a P300 receiver, and from there, it feeds the RTK corrections into um, the Invisio Pro or the Viper Pro. Um, it actually feed RTK corrections into the Trimble 500, um, Pro 600. So are more and more farmers using these sort of systems to make sure that they're, you know, do, uh, applying whether it's seed or fertilizer or they're combining as, as just as accurately as possible? Yeah, uh, the market's definitely changing. Before it was just, they just wanted to drive straight. Now the farmers are, they're kind of looking for the next step. What what can make me, what can make me better? Especially in Western Canada, which isn't really a, an RTK kind of area per or it wasn't, now it is. I mean, guys are looking to see between the rows and less compaction, and, and they really are focusing on that seed uh, fertilizer placement. Um, less, uh, you know, going into canola. You, you're spraying canola five times sometimes, and you want to you wanna impact the crop as least as possible, and RTK just allows us to do that. So where are we seeing farmers using RTK the most? Is it just at seeding time? Seeding time, um, spraying, um, I mean, now that... Even now that they have it, they're going to throw it in their combine. I mean, it just gives them that, especially in a, in a combine too, if you're straight cutting, it just gives you that extra assurance that you're just going to be as straight and accurate as possible and you're not going to have as many misses. Perfect. Well, thanks very much today, Tiffany. No problem. Thanks.